second game and maybe close out in the 2-0. Big surprise. Not really. Uh, Earthshaker sitting only on uh, five last hits. Hello. That's the dead bane, by the looks of things, or no? Or no? Glimpse? Does he have the vision? Does he have the... Uh, no range, but it's still dead. Nicely Earth down by blood. Ned. Nicely done by taking over the Nightmare as well. Clara, spin forward. Gets a crush off, goes for Ned here. Is there an iron shell? Yes, there is. Can he get away? He gets a fish on the space and he will end up going down. My holiness hides me. Yes! I mean, it smoked on the reward, but... Oh, that's a bit surprising. Did not see that that happened. Fuck right in there. M won't be able to get out. We'll just die. Uh, they were obviously not paying attention to that ward. In the meantime, Mushi gets a Sonic Wave in the face no. and not safe just yet as MP with a double damage rune just finishes him off. In the meantime, Disruptor trying to hide is out of mana. We'll try to at least Dyer's buy some time and teleport out, but oh yeah, he's okay. Middle tower we didn't see him in time. Attack. In the meantime, double damage rune sitting on bot lane, nobody picks it up. MP is on his way there though. Ooh. I decide to blink forward if he sees the mid one is in danger of dying in the meantime. Darkseer goes back on the top lane. Still no Omni Slash used, but they could get the glimpse to get him back in his pocket. Wants to take down the Invoker. Okay. Invoker gets the kill. He is so dead though. He is so dead. There you go. So is Queen of Pain. Fisher just in case. Glimpse back. QO will go down as well. Jumps forward but will... Indeed, jump into Mushi's dancing blades. Radiant. He is still level 3, 10 minutes into the game, as he has been hanging around mid a lot. Now, being on their level as a bane doesn't matter that much, but you do want to get some form of levels there. As he gets glimpsed back into the kinetic field, he will be uh, going down here again. By the looks of it, there you go. A lot of effort just for a Bane, though. Can I do something here? Fisher coming out. Static field as well. Rev tries to TP up because Glimpse straight away. We'll end up going down to the hands of Ohio. And he cannot TP out this time. Gets crushed, gets amplified damage. Gets a stun up still. But in comes the PA, jumping forward. And it's actually Slardar that ends up getting the kill there. People middle. Ohio and Net are completely blind. Is there an Echo Slam? Yes, there is. Can I feel Psycho Stor Static Storm as well? Bane and Queen of Pain already dead. Now Ohio trying to go for Grab together with the Gen Army. Will be able to pick him up. This Rupture still ended up going down. The Phantom Assassin is under attack. Disruptor. Two for Rev. Trying to back off, but I don't think he can. I mean, look at the control that Fnatic has over the jungle. Look at the vision. Vision jungle is theirs. Oh, Ongolim is back on Bane. Only time he's there. As well, they want to try and take down Net. They can't. Bane is dead. But it's, uh... It's Dyer that gets this one again. They get the ages though. PA last one alive. Gets tornado up in the air. There is a follow up. So not nice miss or right. I know he Radiant can't do anything about that, but they're at least Sunday missing Sunday a lot. There you go. And that's a fight that MVP Phoenix actually wanted to take, guys. Radiant's bottom tower is Assert under dominance attack. is what they need to do. Radiant structures are fortified. We've already teleporting out. We'll go back to the to the. Bot lane, look for a kill maybe on the Juggernaut who's sticking around, sticking around. PA jumps forward again on that poor, poor disruptor. Tornado though, mid one, maybe trying to make something happen. This PA is doing a lot of damage though. Mid one running again, but he gets being jumped on. Double kill already for QO, but he's the only one left for his team. So in the meantime, Juggernaut, hello. Killed off Slardar and Bane by himself because he can. We fought, didn't follow that. I did see it say that both Juggernaut and Slardar were there, but. Oh, high ground.
Oh, coming into the jungle once more. Fnatic. I mean, they have that ward there. That two kills. Hello. Ohio. Having fun with that air shaker, boy. Yeah. Or maybe they can do this. Smoke top. Trying to surround. The tier 1 tower. They come in. Up on mid one, he lives for the moment. Will you lose himself up in the air? Dodge the Sonic Wave with that. Will still end up going down already? No. Yes. Will still end up dropping. So does Chris. He gets a ghost step drop, but out of fear of now. He tries to teleport out, and he will. He will. The only side is there. Hugo in a lot of trouble there. Will die. And maybe this is the chance to turn it around. Ohio, stuck in a nightmare. Has got, of course, the blink deck and a four staff. The glimpse is back. That's Bane. And Bane uh, will try to uh, brain stab Ned, but will still end up going. Um, I say going down a lot. Oh. She didn't even have any proper damage items and she will have them soon. Battle Fury is going to be the next one. Vacuum into a crit at that point is going to be very scary. Can be turned on. Bane is already dead. No surprises there. This poor Bane. He's died 10 times. <laughs> Wait a second. They were still fighting on the back end. Kinetic field is too fast, doesn't happen, have anything there. Oh, crit, one crit almost kills off Ohio. Queen of Pain there to finish the job. Omnicide is there though. DJ, go scepter for the moment, still was crushed. MP, we're looking to come back, looking to make sure that he still goes down. We're now looking to run away for the moment. Chris is taking quite a bit of damage from forever here, but the kinetic field, no, does not lock him in. He does take a lot of damage and we're all getting glimpses back right now. In the meantime, QO is still trying to finish up the Invoker and this is the first fight that MVP Phoenix is actually looking like winning. And the reason for that being is that the fight is just happening everywhere. This is such a chaotic fight. Disruptor dies to the Darkseer. Well, Darkseer dies to Disruptor. QO now maybe Gen creeps going on him, but he jumps towards the bait and he will be okay. Darkseer is the only casualty that, that MVP has. And there were buybacks on that one. It went to the other, then basically Jen branched off Dyer's to try and live, and then to try and take down the Darkseer. And it's just, it just didn't work. Fnatic, they're giving some space to MVP, and they give MVP a chance in this game, as we do have maybe a very sad Juggernaut. He has got it on his side, he's got a scatty as well, but he's surrounded by enemy heroes. Has got it on his side, there he goes. Jumps around, where did he go? There he goes, kills up the dark seer, has some illusions there, confused on, is still having the amplified damage, the Sonic Wave hits up on the chain in the meantime, he has to make himself scars, will still end up going down, MP though, taking a lot of damage from this Earth Shaker, and the Echo Slam is there! Heavy Tornado EMP, where the Tornado, not Tornado, Jewel and Meteor is the one that you went for, and that is gonna be the gem on that, the only one that didn't die that fight is... Tower, in there middle, to help him out Radiant's and kill off the team Radiant's of MVP middle, Phoenix. And two fall. lanes of Max have been taken down rather than the tier 2. Just, or unless they can make sure that they have a pick up. Oh! Okay. Mushi with the plays. Echo Slam comes out as well. QO is the target here. He has got a BKB. He tries to jump to DJ. DJ has got the hand of God, will use it straight away, and QO is there. In the meantime, Sonic Wave hits a pump mid one, but it doesn't matter. If GG is there, because MVP Phoenix do not want to play this game anymore, and I just want to point out that Mushi was waiting on the high ground right here for someone to come over there, which was the Bane, and without the Bane, we lost the first game of the series, but come back in the second a lot more strong. So we'll find out if it will.